Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing all the dang palettes tag. I discovered this through Makeup Struggles channel because she did a collaboration with Georgia Harris. I found it through Makeup Struggles channel as I said, but then I watched Georgia's video and so now I'm subscribed to them both. So I will link them up in the cards and in the description. I think the cards are up there somewhere in the little eye. It might be on the complete wrong side, but that's where I think it is. I'm going to be doing three tags, the Perfect Palette 1, the Perfect Palette 2, and the another palette tag. Perfect Palette 1 and 2 was made by I Love Faces 1042. The another palette tag was made by Kaylee Butte, I think is how you say it. So the Perfect Palette 1 tag, the first question is, who has the best packaging? I'm going to say the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, and any slash all of the ABH palettes. This is the Born to Run palette. I'm sure you've seen it, but I really like this palette and how it is because it's nice and sleek. It's pretty sturdy in my opinion. I really like the pictures on it that they chose. It's supposed to be like all around the world because it's like a travel palette. So they say, I try not to blind you, but I really like the big mirror. And then I like that you can do this with the palette. I don't know if that's like something that's already been done but in most of my palettes you cannot do that so I really like this because it's nice if you already have a mirror to like hold it like this you know and then plus I can show you guys colors and not bind you completely probably pretty generic but with my drugstore loving butt this is like the first palette I got that had that feature I really like it, it kind of set me apart for some reason that might be lame <laughs> And then the only ABH palette I own is the Subculture palette. I just really love how velvety it is. That might sound really lame as well. Yeah, I don't know how many palettes are velvety by them. I know the Modern Renaissance and the Norvina and this one and maybe the Prism. I don't know. For the Modern Renaissance, I really didn't know that much because I am young, you know. I didn't know that much about makeup, you know. <laughs> And the names are on it, which I forgot to mention, they are on the board to run as well. But I like how these are foily. I really like these two palettes of packaging, even though it's not anything crazy. But the best color payoff, I'm not the best person to judge this. Because as I said, I have a lot of drugstore palettes. And while drugstore is not bad, I don't have much to compare it to. Because I, I literally just showed you my only high-end palettes, which aren't that high-end like compared to some people. Saying that, my most pigmented, I guess, palette would be the NYX Ultimate Brights eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. It's my only majorly colorful palette. Like, this is dedicated to being colorful. You know, compared to some of the colors that have been thrown into some of my other palettes, this palette has the most that actually show up. Like, this color. But the next question is, what palette do you think is the most versatile? And I'm going to go with the Self Does Nails and Makeup Revolution collaboration, the first one, because I don't own the second one, so I don't want to say anything about it. This is the palette, and I just really like the color selection. You have a lot of warm shades over here. You got some mattes over here, like basically every matte that I would need. You got some base colors up here. You got some color. I just think it's a really nice palette. You can get lots of looks from it. And I did a four looks one palette using this palette. And some of my looks ended up kind of the same, but I think that's my fault. Because I didn't go for like very different colors. I think you could get a lot of looks with this palette. Next question is, what palette do you think is the best for traveling? I did a video about travel makeup. And although it doesn't look like it's travel size, this is the Make Revolution Death by Chocolate Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. And I think this is a really good palette for traveling because it has a lot of neutral shades, but it also has like a little tiny, like a purple over there. It's got a green tinted black. Personally, if I'm traveling, I don't want any crazy looks, but I do want variety. So this is a good palette for that. My biggest regrets, um, they're both Makeup Revolution palettes, unfortunately, because I really do like them. But this is the Golden Bar Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. I got this as a like free palette like if you spend over a certain amount of money. I actually picked this because I saw it online but I didn't realize when I saw it online that it's an only shimmer palette which was really disappointing to me because I just can't do looks without 
a matte. I mean, I can do a one shadow look, but honestly, the only shade I use is that gold right there. Everything else is completely ignored. I mean, you can probably see dips in it because I just sit here and swatch it trying to figure out like something to do. Like, it's not inspiring to me at all. I don't want to reach for a palette that like I only use one shade of. I'm like hesitant to use this as a regret because I really did want this. Like, the Make Revolution Neutrals versus Neutrals eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this. It's a one toned palette. I don't find myself reaching for it that much. It's alright. I really, really wanted this, but I'm like, I probably could have gone without it. Next question is about what palette has the best color names? And I think it's the Sephora and Minnie Mouse collaboration. It looks like this, and you can't really see the names, but I'm gonna read some to you. Um, hello Mickey, put a bow on it. Daisy's my BFF. I'm all ears. Yoo-hoo, ex-boyfriend, some like a dot, Mickey squeeze. Puppy Love, Red Carpet Arrival, Miss Minnie, Big Shoes to Fill, Pick Me Up at 8, Be My Bow. I just think they're really cute because some of them are puns, some of them are just Mickey related. I really like this this green shade right here, it's called Yoohoo, That's, and it reminds me of my grandma because she always says that like, to give people's attention. She's like, Yoohoo. I just think the names of this are like really cute. I'm a sucker for puns. My least used palette, unfortunately, is something my boyfriend gave me, and I always feel guilty looking at it because it was really sweet of him to give to me. But again, my issue is there's not many mattes, and I'm talking about the Academy of Color Ultimate Color Eyeshadow Palette. I believe he purchased the set Coles. I don't really know anything else about it, but I will try to hopefully link it, maybe. It looks like there's a wide variety of color, but there's no matte and the colors that you do think are mattes, they're actually more satins. Nice variety of colors. I like to reach for all matte palettes over all shimmer palettes. There we go. I said that three times before I could get it out. For my most used eyeshadow palette, that was really hard for me to decide because I kind of religiously used all of my palettes when I first got it, but this one is the one that stuck out to me the most of how long I use this thing. This is the 35O by Morphe. It looks like this and it doesn't look like overly used. Like it's so clean and everything and I haven't hit pan on anything but I used this thing every single day after I got it for like a month and a half maybe two months. Like I was obsessed with this thing because I have blue eyes too so I know it's a craze like the warm toned eyeshadow palettes but I feel like the old warm tones do suit me and then the other ones over here I don't know, I just really liked it. So we're going to move on to the um, the Perfect Palette Tag 2. Again, it's by I Love Faces 1042. And the first question is, would you rather have an eyeliner, a brush, or nothing in a palette? And I would choose to have it come with nothing or a big mirror. Because honestly, I'm not going to use an eyeliner. Like, I don't even wear eyeliner half the time. And then brushes, I mainly just use this in my little cup. I don't really touch the brush. I basically just leave it in the palette or lose it. The next question is about palettes that I've hit pan on. And I have hit pan on some of my really, really old palettes that I had in the past. But I don't own any of those anymore. So the only palette I have left that I've hit pan on, which it kills me to say, but I'm going to be trying to pan more things. But it's this LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Palette or quad, I guess I should say, in mattifying. It was a dollar at the dollar store. Can you see that? I hit pan in the cream shade. I didn't even know I hit pan on this. Like, I guess it's obvious, but when I was looking for a palette to answer that question, I was like, oh gosh, this is awkward. I don't have one. And then I saw this and I was like, I hit pan? The next question is about my favorite um, Naked palette. I have never owned the Naked palettes. I don't even know what the Naked 3 looks like off the top of my head. But the first Naked palette, too smoky for me. I don't know, I'm just not really into the color combination. I know it's half off, so it kind of tempted me because they're discontinuing it at RIP. But <laughs> the Naked 2 is too pinky. Like, all the colors kind of seem to blend together for me. I don't really know what the Naked 3 looks like off the top of my head. And then Naked Heat, I've heard that it blends completely into one color. And also, I'm not into the warm eyeshadow palettes. I know I just was talking about the Morphe 35O, which is warm. But I feel like 
if I have one, I got them all. I don't really have a preference between the Naked palettes. The next question is about my favorite holiday or limited edition palette. I wasn't really part of the community or really knew anything about it until within the last year or two. Like, I don't really know that much about limited edition or holiday palettes or anything. Like, I don't really know that much. I am interested in the Too Faced? I was going to say Tarte, but I think it's Too Faced planner book palette thingy but I think it's really cute that like the planner community and the makeup community like kind of overlapped a little bit like I'm glad they kind of like noticed the planner community I think I'm just saying this because I'm biased because I really like planners so I just thought it was really cool that the planner community overlapped the makeup world with such a big brand apparently there was a planner like, like an actual planner too like, I don't know that much I was just thought that was cool Anyway, I'm getting on a tangent. I think that's a limited edition. So the next question is, what palette would you repurchase or have a backup of? I'm taking this question as like what I would repurchase like if I didn't already buy it or if I lost it or anything like. And this again is the NYX Brights palette. I just think I don't have that many colorful shadows. And so this is like a good supplement to the rest of my collection. And it was pretty affordable. I mean, it's not like cheap cheap, but this is like 17 to 20 I don't know how much it was I will put it on the screen but this was a decent amount of money and I don't know I just really am glad that I have this in my collection it's just nice to have a shade I wish was sold individually um it's from the self culture palette I have not actually used this palette or I've not actually used this shade before because I've literally only used this palette once I got it like last week attracted to this palette for this color here called Axis, and I just love it. It's like a bluish green, and it really, really, really reminds me of Christmas or Christmas tree or something, and I love Christmas. I know this isn't overly Christmassy, but my backdrop is reindeer. You are not prepared for Christmas on my channel. Let me just tell you. I'm saying this, and I won't even, like, post. So I'll be too busy or something. I'm really into the idea of, like, this Axis shade. Ooh. The brush just fell out. What did I say about brushes earlier? But really into that shade and maybe All Star or maybe mm -hmm. inspiration. That red and that green. Look at that. White or silver on the lip. Oh my god. That's gonna be a video on my channel. You wanna see that? Stay tuned. So the next one is a wild card, which is basically you pick a question from the first palette tag. And I'm not going to do this question because I've already answered all the questions before. So the question after that is a palette I would recommend to the front. And I would choose the Death by Chocolate or the Soph Does Nails collaboration by Makeup Revolution, both of them. Because again, this palette is like perfect basics palette. I'm not sure if it would be usable for people with darker skin tones than me. There we go. But for me, I really, really like this palette. I'm going to have to watch a video or something from Tammy Clark's channel. I know she has a darker complexion than me. And she works with Make Revolution. So I'm sure she has this palette and has opinion on that. Again, the Soph Does Nails collaboration. Because it's just so versatile. Like, you know, most of my friends are guys. <laughs> and they don't do makeup. And then the few girlfriends I have, they don't do makeup either. So I'm the only one that does makeup here. If I was recommending it to a friend, it would need to be an easy palette. So this is a nice natural palette. But this is like a perfect like first palette because if you're starting out, you have basically everything you could think of wanting. I think these are good palettes for my friends or just beginners in general. We're moving on to the another palette tag, which is again by Kaylee Butte. And the first question is my first palette ever which was a Sephora glittery gold like face palette thing. It had eyeshadows, blushes, a highlighted contour, eyebrow shades, and gel eyeliners in there, I think. I have it in my makeup declutter, I'm pretty sure. The most recent purchase, um, I don't know if you caught that I said that I got this a week ago, but it is the Subculture palette. I actually got it at TG Maxx for... $29.99. I was so excited. Because I was thinking about getting a dupe. But I'm getting the real deal. And I know there's a big old drama or something about it. As I said before, 
I'm used to drugstore. I, I overthink buying a $15 palette from Makeup Revolution. So if this really did, like, be powder like everybody said or something, I've had cheap makeup. I think I would manage. Like, I know it's more money, but, like, the money's already gone. I love this color combination. I've always wanted to try ABH shadows, but I didn't want the Modern Renaissance because, again, it's so warm, and there's just so many warm eyeshadow palettes. I know Modern Renaissance is, like, the top of the top in the community, but I've always been drawn to this one, so I was like, I'm just gonna pick it up. The palette I regret missing out on I'm assuming this is about limited edition. That's what they talked about in their videos, Makeup Struggles and uh, Georgia Harris. Um, as I said before, I don't really know that much about limited edition like palettes in general. So I'm just gonna skip that question. Although I do miss, apparently around July 4th, there was a half off sale on this palette and I just didn't even know. Like I could have got it for $21. The palette that makes me happy to look at is this palette. I'm really happy about getting this. Like, you have no idea. I just, the color combination makes me so happy. I used this palette for my cousin's wedding and I used, um, what did I use? Mercury. And then I used Mercury, Destiny, and Adorn. And I also used Cube in the inner corner. But I really liked how the combination turned out. It's not something I would usually do. Like, it wasn't crazy, but it's not something I would usually do. And I'm sorry for rambling about this palette, especially if you hate it. Next question is, what palette have you changed your mind about? And I know I said before that my most used and loved palette was the Morphe 35O, but I have changed my mind about this, and I think it's because of makeup struggles. Not because of her, but that's when I realized. Because she was talking about how this palette looks so similar and like like it looks kind of different on camera but like do you see these two shades for example like and that one like they look the same like half these shades like you don't even see a difference and then those two transition shades like you're getting 35 shadows but if you subtract the ones that look the exact same you start looking at the ones that are repeated and you start subtracting them and then the 35 turns into like 30 and then so they're not crazy expensive it's 23 dollars but i'm just like could have put a mirror in there maybe more variety i don't regret it but i've changed my mind a little bit like it's not as holy girl as i thought it was in the beginning when i first got it the palette that surprised me the most is this elf matte for matte eyeshadow palette in summer breeze it's really hard to open for starters. Oh, well, that doesn't look that bad, but it's hard to open. And it's only $10. I got this for my birthday from my boyfriend. But, like, okay, I don't have a bias against drugstore, as I've said 50,000 times, but I just wasn't expecting it to be that crazy good. Like, I haven't tried Elf Shadow, so I was just like, mm, whatever. But when I tried this for the first time, you could probably see that in my first impressions after my birthday. I was, like, really shocked and impressed with this palette like I don't know what it was I'm really I still have not used this purple but I'm very excited too than this this little area right here I'm so excited like the darker shades fall is coming I'm like ready to go I know it's called summer breeze but like this is a fall palette to me I don't know what you're talking about fall is coming I am ready I know I keep repeating myself so you guys are probably getting sick of me and you probably haven't even watched this far but the palette that inspires me the most is the, do I need to say it anymore, the Makeup Revolution and Soap Does Nails collaboration. There's just so many different color combinations that it just makes me really excited to create looks and think about what I can do next. And that's all I'm going to say. Because <laughs> I'm going to end up repeating myself again. My No Fail palette, I'm taking that as something that you cannot mess up your makeup and there's really no failed shadows in this. Like, I love it. Is again the Death by Chocolate palette. It's so natural and subtle, but like not, nah, you know, it's just nice shades. There's not one dud in this palette. I just, I really recommend this palette. If you try anything from Make Revolution, like palette wise, you should get these. And the last question in these tags is what palettes are on your wish list? I'm going off the top of my head because I just looked at my wish list and I already kind of forgot what's on my wish list. Um, 
the Juvia's Place Magic palette. I think it is Magic Mini. I want to get that because I really want to try Juvia's Place shadows. I have not. And I think the Magic palette is one that I would find a lot of use out of and actually use. But also it has unique shades. And I have this really strong aversion to blue eyeshadows. And I know that Juvia's Place puts a lot of blue eyeshadows in their palettes. For and this one seems to have the less amount of blue shades. And also it has this one like light purpley shimmer that I'm really into. I want a shade like that, so. And then there's one, I don't know what it's called. I'll try to insert a picture or something, but it's Elf Jewel Pop or something. It's got like a really bright red, a really bright blue, really bright green. It's got like really bright colors, not like neon, but like bold. And it's matte palette. It's just like the Summer Breeze one. And because of the Summer Breeze one, I'm like really optimistic about it. I don't know if it's the same formula or what, but I'm really interested in trying it. But I know I wanted to try BH Cosmetics eyeshadows. Um, I'm really into the Take Me to Brazil eyeshadow palette, I think it is. It's not the Take Me, it's not the Rio edition. I know that. It might be Take Me Back to Brazil. Or the Zodiac palette. I saw Lauren May Beauty use that in a four looks one palette I'm pretty sure it was. I will link that video down below if I can remember what one it is. It looks good. I mean I probably don't need it but it's wish list for a reason. And then I want to try the Essence palettes that they just came out with or they I don't know how recently but they're $9.99. I think they have 16 shades. I could be wrong. I want to try the Rockstar or music or something. I will put the name on the screen. I am so sorry. I have a really bad memory. I will try to insert a picture as well. But I'm really interested in that. I've only seen one review, which I don't know who did that review either. I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. But I will also put that on the screen and link them down below. There's going to be lots of links in the description today. Yeah, I subscribe to her too, so I really like her. But yeah, I think I'm done with this All the Dang Palettes tag. I might tag people in the description. I don't really know if I am going to or not. I just wanted to talk to you guys and plus, to be honest, I don't have a video idea. I've been talking for almost an hour. So guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Sorry for me rambling and repeating myself over and over and over again. But all these palettes that I recommended, I repeated over and over again. I really think they're good palettes. So yeah. It was just nice talking to you guys about makeup and palettes because palettes are my weakness. I just, I look at them all the time. <laughs> I have a problem. So I think I'm going to let you guys, like, escape. <laughs> so if you like this video, please like and comment. If you want to see more, subscribe. And let me know what kind of videos you're interested in seeing. Subscribe if you want to see those Christmas videos I mentioned. <laughs> I know it's a little while away, but honestly, I might start them in, like, October. I'm just going to go now. Bye. <laughs>